So many of you have seen this before. On the left is the <clears throat> traditional kind of learning that occurs within sales. Um, it's content based. A lot of times it's a one and done. Uh, two major uh, concerns with the traditional approach is that a lot of the design focuses on the trainer rather than the learner. And the result of a lot of the traditional, which is what I talked about earlier, is memorization. You memorize it, you spit it back on a test, you get 85%, you can move to the next one. That's not gonna get you the competitive advantage you need today. Impact learning, which is our methodology here at Esquire NetQuest, is problem-based. Give learners problems to solve, give them content to help solve it, let them collaborate on solving it, and really focus the design on the learner make them responsible for it rather than the facilitator. And the result of impact learning is the ability to apply that knowledge and set of skills. And we're gonna talk a lot today about application of knowledge as it relates to these sales programs. So let's look at a traditional architecture as it relates to sales training. Pretty basic structure. There's normally some pre-work. And in the traditional model, that's a lot of memorization of stuff. Again, spit it back on a test, you get 85%, et cetera. Classroom, lecture format, again, facilitator focused, and then you stick them in the field. And again, traditionally, one of the major issues that we see in our experience working with a lot of these organizations is in the pre-work, again, you're measuring effectiveness through a test and test scores. Again, very low levels of learning, rote memorization, et cetera. Even in the classroom portion, you may do some role plays and that kind of thing to try to do some application, but it's normally not enough and it may not be as in-depth. So what we've done is when you look at the traditional model and then you overlay on that Dreyfus's model of competency, which goes from novice, all the way up to proficient and expert, we see that the traditional sales training relies heavily on experience in the field to actually build expertise. And initially, you know, field reps <clears throat> and sales reps when they're out there, they still require a lot of support and supervision. And that experience in the field, in many cases, is simply trial and error. And there's probably folks on the phone that came from the field and can relate to this trial and error. And the problem with that is there's a lot of very detrimental effects that can, you can have with this trial and error method, which we'll talk about. So the impact learning architecture, let's look at it compared to the more traditional approach. Similar <clears throat> in structure, you'll see one added thing is these structured field experiences. Some of you may do ride-alongs, et cetera, but to have those be structured is what's critical. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna show examples of that. Um, the pre-work, rather than memorization, we wanna do application. We'll talk about that all day today. Application, not after you've learned a bunch of stuff, but application throughout. The classroom is interactive. It isn't a facilitator lecturing. The structured field experiences, again, a good place to apply, and then we put them in the field. And again, the measurement for effectiveness using the impact learning architecture is going to be measured mainly by application. I'm not saying that there's no testing. Uh, if you look at things like anatomy, physiology, disease state, there's some things there that you could test with a, a generalized test. But in most cases, if you want these folks to be confident when they go in the field, you have to have them applying that knowledge all the way along. And when you overlay Dreyfus on top of the impact learning methodology, you'll notice a couple of things. One is that they're much more ready when they enter the field, and it takes them a lot less time to get up to actually being expert. And once they're in the field, and a lot of times you don't want to pull people out of the field. They're selling. They don't want to come out of the field. But you have to have some ongoing coaching and training and performance support is absolutely critical. We're going to talk a lot about tools today 
and what we can do with those. I'll give you a quick example of the use of a tool as a way to at least have somebody act in a more expert capacity. We did some work for Department of Transportation, individuals that are looking at bridges um, to make sure that they're sound. Somebody that's been doing it 10 years, goes out, sees a crack, they know that that crack is just a crack due to settling. It's not a problem. A new engineer might go out and look at that crack and think, oh man, I don't know, is that serious or not? So we created a tool in which they can very quickly look at that crack, compare it, and know that it's a settling crack. So although they're not expert through some of these performance support tools, they can act in an expert capacity. And we'll talk a lot about that today as well. Here's the biggie, I think, when you compare traditional to impact learning, is this, that trial and error, the fact that they may go into the field not confident, not truly ready, lost sales, lost revenue, this damaged relationships, frustration turnover. The damaged relationships, I think, is something that is really important because of our audience, right? Our audience or audiences are physicians, surgeons, they have very high expectations, they have very low tolerance. And these sales reps must add value through their knowledge. If not, that's how you lose sales, et cetera. But this um, damaged relationship where I may not be able to get in and see them again, that can be extremely detrimental. 